Welcome to another video by Exam Sam. This video provides a biography of Seraphine and Joaquin Alvarez Quintero in English. We will be discussing the life and works of the Spanish playwrights, the Quintero brothers. Seraphine and Joaquin Alvarez Quintero were brothers and wrote in collaboration. The brothers Quintero never made public the details of their private life and no article of importance seems to have been published concerning them during their lifetime. From a little semi-serious autobiographia, originally printed in Alma Española in 1904, and from various other sources, the following facts have been gleaned. Don Serafín was born on March 26, 1871, and Don Joaquín on January 20, 1873, in Utrera, 20 miles from Seville. To this capital the family moved when the two boys together measured a yard in height, and there they attended the Instituto. Their dramatic talent appeared at the earliest possible age, and they composed and acted plays in the patio of their own house before any other stage could be provided. They were sixteen and fifteen when Escrima y Amor, a farce, was produced at the Teatro Cervantes in Seville on January 30, 1888. Their father took them to Madrid in October of the same year in order to give their talents a broader field. Success didn't come at once. For nine years, to provide a livelihood, they held positions in the Treasury Department, called the Hacienda in Spain. During this period, they labored desperately at writing, rising at dawn to get in some hours before the office work began at eight. They founded a weekly paper called El Pobrecito Hablador, which was respected and admired, but was not a financial success. Before the appearance of El Ojito Derecho, their first hit, they had only three plays produced in Madrid, all very ordinary farces but they must have been storing up material for future use, for in 1900 they declared that they had 51 plays on hand in manuscript. In 1897, the Entremons, El Ojito Derecho, and the one-act comedy La Reja attracted favorable notice. They were both written in the vein which has given them popularity, namely, the depiction of Andalusian customs. In 1898, a musical comedy, La Buena Sombra, completed the victory, and from that date they produced an average of nearly five plays a year. In 1900, Los Galeotas, a four-act comedy, and their first full-size piece, was crowned with the approbation of the Spanish Academy. But it wasn't until 1904 that the brothers Quintero were accepted as entitled to rank among the chief figures of modern Spanish literature. In 1907, they were both presented with the cross of Alfonso XII. Don Serafín was elected to the Academy on March 27, 1913. The brothers spent their winters in Madrid and their summers in the quaint northern town of Fuentarabia, where they found ideal conditions for composition and rest. When we look over the whole work of these men, we are struck first by their tremendous productivity. From 1900 to 1914, they averaged five estreños, or plays, a year. The enormous output of the Quintero brothers includes an equally impressive variety. They have attempted almost every known kind of comedy in prose, from the screaming farce Las Casas de Carton, El Nuevo Servidor, to the grand comedy in which there is a strong tragic element, La Casa Garcia, La Sagala. One may very roughly divide their work into short plays or long plays, or in Castilian, El Genero Chico and El Genero Grande. El Ojito Derecho, in 1897, is a classic of horse trading, 
and only one of an insurpassable series depicting Andalusian life among the lower classes. The famous El Patio, in 1900, draws an enchanting picture of domestic arrangements in a house in Seville. La Buena Sombra, El Flechazo, Los Choros del Oro, Sangre Gorda, and many others, which, like those previously cited, are written in Andalusian dialect, and are thumbnail sketches caught in the streets and patios of Seville. The lyric quality predominates in their plays, especially in Las Flores. The dialogue of the Quinteros is lively and natural, at times sparkling with wit. They are inveterate punsters, and again charged with rich, quiet humor. Long speeches are rare. Their Castilian is highly idiomatic and not free from slang and for this reason it seems it doesn't have the value of a pure speech type that one finds in their Andalusian writings. The drama may be seen as a vehicle for any mental concept, satire, ethics, cynicism, philosophy, realism, poetry, social problems, or melodrama. Sane optimism and realism suffused with poetry were the inspiring forces of the brothers Quintero. They had no thesis to prove except that life is sweet and worth living, no didactic aim except to show that human nature is mainly good. In the later plays of the Quinteros, one notices an increasing eagerness to impress the beauty of vigorous, right-minded living upon the audience. But one must be frank and say that their most successful plays were those in which the moral is concealed. Serafine Alvarez Quintero died on April 12, 1938 and Joaquin Alvarez Quintero died on June 14, 1944. Over their lifetimes, they wrote almost 200 plays, which won them fame as the golden boys of the Madrid theater. <laughs>